what's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you in a trophy slash achievement guide for ExoZombies Game Over Man. It's a really simple process and it's uh, six easy steps. And it's probably one of the easiest Easter eggs that um, uh, Call of Duty Zombies was after, but this is Activision. Well, not Activision, Sledgehammer. Okay, so not um, wasting any moment. Uh, let's get right into it. So, when you spawn in, you want to um, go over to this uh, busted up robot helicopter thing, Future Tech. It's by the um, Bulldog Shotgun, and it should be like a black battery that you have to press and hold square or X on. That I'm shooting right now. And you uh, go over to the ministry area, open up that, and you go through the hallway and go to the morgue, which is this door right over here. And then after you open up this door, then you want to go over to the computer console, right. which is yeah, right where I'm walking. You should be able to access this area by round three, depending on the, how many points you have in your strategy. So then you want to go over to this um, area and press hold square X, and you should hear this. We're going to need to upgrade the security clearance on all four of our badge IDs to get past the we'll have to. A minimum. Pretty sure I left my ID badge in my office as I never used it. Okay, so you heard that. You can do that with all the players, but uh, first you want to grab an ecstasy before you do all of this. It's um, optional, but uh, I recommend it. So you just go over to the next area from the computer, and you go and buy this. The door to the exit room, follow the arrows, and you should be here. Now, you gotta acquire all the key cards. First, I'm going to go through Deckers, which is the treasure hunt, which is the search incinerator. So, what you want to do is buy the incinerator once, and buy it again. Or if you're on multiplayer, you want to buy it rapidly at the same time. But then you want to go into the incinerator and just shoot as much as you can. Uh, the most recommended gun for this is uh, probably the E1. And then when you uh, find the card, you're going to like see a little black thing, or you're going to hear this audio clip. This is another run where I did this with the Paytech, and um, I'm just going to show you a, a slow motion clip of the card popping up, because most of you didn't catch that, and this is how you can identify that you got the card. See? Here's a slower clip that I did, and you can see it barely on the right of the screen, and it's right there. And you want to find that, and you want to pick it up, and you should have the first card. Next, you want to get Oz's card, which is you want to shoot the pipe that's in the um, holding area, and you want to slam on top of it with boost slam. So first, the pipe is right underneath um, the holding cell, and it's um, pretty noticeable. You want to shoot it with a, a submachine gun, or uh, whatever, something with a lot of ammo, because you run out of ammo fast by shooting this. It's a lot. Uh, recommended for this is also the EM1 if you can get that from the box. And you can stop shooting when the pipe disappears completely. Then you want to come over here to the Exo Slam and you want to buy it for 2,000 points. And be careful of these Exo uh, EP guys. Next, you want to go on top of the holding cells and you want to slam all the players on top of that one last cell. Uh, of course, multiplayer is all the players has to slam on top of it. And there you have two cards. Next is Lilith's cards, which you have to overload 3D printer slash hat. And there it is. And here's a note that you have to um, have all players get the card that they're playing as. And on to Khan's key card. Now you want to find these keypads and you want to press them where I'm showing you the locations. So wait till round 9 or an infected round and then you can um, go in and um, activate these things. So you gotta let uh, an infected hit you like what I'm about to do right now. And quickly, it's, you can do this on solo or whatever, but you hit these buttons before your time runs out. And you can do it within the same round, but it has, I don't think it has any time limit besides the round. But if you do it like separate, then it will like stop. Like, I get down right here, and I get back up. 
you know, the buttons are so activated, so... Um, I guess it just reset or something. So after you do that, you might want to clean yourself off because you'll probably have like 1% left. And then the card should be right here in Decker or Oz. Right, here's my ID badge. Uh, this dude has to get it. Next you collect all the zombie card collectibles, which uh, drop from the zombies. One of the um, recommended camping spots are uh, the front courtyard where you can train the most amount of cards. And you should use these nano swarm grenades. Another area to uh, camp is also the X server, which is a uh, really good camping point, spending parts, whatever. And um, the last one where I didn't show a spot to a camp would be the little circular place because there's steps in it in case you uh, die or whatever. It's easy to uh, like get a few steps. So, you gotta wait till your car to 50, and here's a little bit of gameplay of me just going through. And once again, if you didn't hear me before, if you're playing as the character that um, has to pick up the card, like if you're playing as Sir McGowan, then you have to pick up Sir McGowan's part card. And next, you have to um, locate these hand scanners, which I'm showing you locations now. One's in the holding area, which is Oz's. The next one is in the Exo Room, which should be... Um, uh, uh, Deckers, Deckers, ah, I'm forgetting these guys' names. So then you go up to these hand scanners, and you should press and hold square or X, and it should do a little error message or whatever. This one is Sarah McGowan's. And the last one, which is in the main hall, is, um, uh, what's his name? Cons, whoa, almost forgot his name. Uh, so you gotta go hit these in um, the same order at the same time, and then you should uh, get this. Hello, Next, you go to the computer, and then you grab an exosuit, and finally, but not least, you escape. If you heard that, then that means that you have completed, almost completed the Exo Guide. Yeah, uh, Exo Zombies. Well, uh, so now all you have to do to open that is grab another Exo Suit because it thinks you don't have an Exo Suit on, and that should open like so. And then you can upgrade your gun from level 20 to level 25 in 20 2,000 points. Now, you want to run as fast as you can outside, which I don't think there's any time limit, but I am not sure. You should hear this epic music playing in the background, and all you have to do is just walk up to the courtyard, and you should see this. Now you've escaped, and you should get the trophy guide as soon as possible. You really think he would escape? Nope. Nope, nope, not, not in this game. Nope, nope. Well, see you guys. Thank you for watching this video, and please subscribe if you truly like dearly. <laughs> oh, peace out.